Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your 60-second breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. While the House of Representatives will remain constant at 435 members, unless Congress ever votes to change its own numbers, the shapes of the individual congressional districts are changed once a decade in response to shifting populations both between states and within states. President Trump's July 21st executive order seeks to exclude undocumented immigrants from House reapportionment. According to estimates by the Pew Research Center, this change would lose one congressional seat each for California, Florida, and Texas, while gaining one congressional seat each for Alabama, Minnesota, and Ohio. The No Funds for Apportionment Exclusion Act would ban the use of federal dollars in carrying out Trump's executive order on House reapportionment. It was introduced by New York Democratic Representative Grace Meng. Supporters argue that the executive order would deprive millions of undocumented immigrants of representation despite in many cases living in the U.S. for years or even decades, paying taxes, and educating their children in the public schools. Opponents counter that including undocumented immigrants in an apportionment would create an incentive for more illegal immigration. And they also note that the census already excludes some classes of people who are physically within a state from being counted, such as tourists and visitors. In the meantime, be sure to fill out your census. The more people that fill out their census, the more money their district gets. And the closest city to me as I speak is Hartford, Connecticut. That way? Uh, or maybe that way? I'm not really sure. Anyway, current estimates are that only 44% of the Hartford population has filled out their census. So be sure to fill out yours.